Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yara's Clips. The reason I'm bringing up this question is because it's been a very active question uh, over the last two weeks. We've had some very incredible celebrities on the show, uh, and all of them seem to have achieved a certain degree of self-actualization. There was Virender Sehwag, Sara Ali Khan, Manoj Bajpai, uh, and a few more people. And everyone highlighted how important destiny has been in their own journeys. Uh, and of course, I know that destiny plays a role, but it was weird how all these six, seven podcasts we did, everyone brought up destiny and how they're an outcome of circumstance. And uh, circumstance is something I've been thinking about a lot as well. I feel even this podcast happens because the relationship I share with my mother is a very podcasting relationship since I was a little kid. Always had deep conversations, stories from both sides. That's why I enjoy this job. Those are my circumstances. Mm -hmm. uh, do you believe that destiny is a very important factor in a spiritual journey as well? Like everyone has their own timelines and whoever's actually meant to fall into this path will fall into their path? I do believe that there is some kind of a plan, of course, which you okay. might call destiny. But also there are many people who get this plan but who are not able to move forward. Really? Because they're not putting in enough effort into it. So, I also give equal importance to effort. Look, it also, we have passed through maybe 200 million years of genetic evolution, right? So, there is a lot of mixing and remixing of genetics. So, every person you see is a mixture of 2 million years of... So, some parts of our brain are already wired because of the genes, right? We cannot deny that. Even if you don't want to believe in past birth. You don't... But you still are wired in some way. 200 million years, not even two births or three births. Genetic evolution. Now, given that, we are also given opportunities and openings to work. And when that opportunity comes, we need to make take advantage of that. Then it works. Of course, if it doesn't work, one thing about understanding is that, well, it hasn't worked, probably because I didn't put in enough work, or maybe I'm not destined. So let me change and look at some other way. Hmm. Two ways of looking at it. I'm saying for the youngsters especially. You just now mentioned many people were young people. So while, yes, they appreciated that they were destined in some way, but they put in a lot of hard work. Where mm -hmm. in Sava could not have reached there without batting or bowling. I don't know what he does. For hours together, there may be, I must tell you this, I went to Hong Kong some years ago. There was a guy called Hari Leela. He's still there, I think. He must have been at that time 92 years old. A uh, little bit on the fat side, but very active and so on. So he invited me for lunch in his own hotel. So he told me, this life, you know, is like snakes and ladders. <laughs> I said, why do you say that? He said, because he also holds the uh, franchise for all the, uh, what is that? Holiday Inns. Oh, Holiday Throughout South Asia. Okay. Big man, Hindi man. So, he told me, it's snakes. I said, why do you say that? He said, sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down. And the guy, when he's down, thinks I should go up, is the fellow who rises finally. But then, he said luck, he called it luck for destiny, <laughs> also plays its part. He said, when he said he started his career in Hong Kong as a tailor who could make a sweet, uh, suits uh, overnight. When you order in the morning, you get your delivery in the evening. And there were a lot of uh, Westerners at that time, that point in Hong Kong. He started it that way. He said, many of my friends also were in the same business. They were also doing the same. I came up, they didn't. So I can't explain this. Call it luck, call it destiny. But he said, I worked very hard. If I had not worked hard, I could not have come up. But there were others also working hard who didn't come up. So, you have to have a balance between these two things. You can't simply say destiny and sleep. Mm. Okay. When your opportunity comes, when the blueprint is ready, you should start working on it. Okay. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this. It's TRS Clips.